welcome everyone to the last in our series of our bite-sized videos uh, brought to you by Property Week, Workspace and of course Yardi. Um, I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I have and today I thought I would share with you our insights and learnings not only from the bite-sized videos but dealing with customers and suppliers through uh, this COVID unparalleled time. The first thing is the future of flexible workspace is healthy and positive. And that's for a couple of reasons. I'm not gonna talk about Zoom fatigue or working from home because we know the problems with that and the need for more human interaction. But what I will talk about is what I think corporate, how corporates will change uh, because of this period. Corporates now have had their employees working from home. Uh, they can see the pros and the cons. Um, there will be a need for corporates to have a much stronger real estate utilization. Um, the need for flexible working will be greater than ever before. Their employees will demand flexible working. So corporates will look at how they use flexible space even more. And I look at ourselves, for example, where uh, thanks to the office group, we have um, a beautiful space in London and we use it as a drop-in centre. So we have a number of desks, our staff can come and go, we have a number of passes. Nobody has a dedicated desk, but we use it as a, a base for business. Um, it's still a base for human interaction and our need for creativity as it is as great as the next companies. So it won't ever change. In fact, I suspect we'll end up getting more space. And I think that's the message that I would say that makes it so positive. The second learning that we have is very much about the business model itself. Um, over the last two and a half months, uh, we've seen that service revenues have pretty much gone off a cliff. Um, revenue from co-working memberships, um, revenue from uh, telephony, revenue from meeting room bookings has gone. It was a very important part of service office operators and flexible workspace operators revenues and now that has disappeared is the onus on um, the fundamentals of running a space um, the office space itself letting out that making sure your occupancy levels are as high as they possibly can be and more importantly that your workstation rates are at the right price um, treat the service level in, in uh, revenues as the bonus. Those operators that have existed because of the service uh, revenues, I think we'll see a downside there. I think we'll see fallout in the industry and the people that will come through and shine will, the, will be the people who have probably stronger fundamentals. The last learning is about my favorite subject, which is technology. And anyone who knows me knows I'm a technology enthusiast. Now more than ever, we have seen that technology is not a nice to have. It is an absolute necessity. And one of the things that I have enjoyed over this period is seeing that people focus on what is really important and what their customers need, What and not what they think their customers need. And tools such as apps for your members will be critical now. And your members will expect those uh, even more so uh, now, they'll expect an experience that is digital to be as good as the human experience that you pride yourselves on as an industry and you are exemplary as, as, a, as an industry. Um, so the technology also to look at space utilization, the way we plan our space, uh, optimize our space and monetize our space will be absolutely critical. Um, we'll still need to provide the core components of great Wi-Fi, great internet, but without a doubt, uh, having the management platform to be able to um, track um, how you clean your space, maintain your space, how you use your space and how you monetize your space will be more important now than ever before. So to summarize, um, the future is bright. 
So thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching this as much as, I, as I've enjoyed doing it. Great thanks go to Catherine from Area, um, James at Instant Group, and Chris from Uncommon for being uh, great sports and being interviewed. Uh, thanks very much and look forward to seeing you all uh, come out of lockdown. Yeah.